onto our weekly feature, Citizen Planet. And as Kenya, just like the rest of the world, grapples with the ever-growing crisis of plastic pollution, the search for a solution has never been more urgent. Each year, millions of tons of plastic flood the ecosystem, choking wildlife, oceans, and threatening our future. And as Emily Chabet reports, there is a major breakthrough in the fight against plastic pollution with the new discovery of mealworm lava that are capable of consuming plastic material. In a world drowning in plastic waste, innovation often comes from the most unexpected places. While the problem grows bigger every day, the solution may come from an organism far smaller than ever imagined. Meet Dr. Fathia Hamisi, a pioneering scientist from Kenya whose groundbreaking research is rewriting the future of waste management by harnessing the power of this tiny lava. She has been exploring how they can degrade plastic and how their natural enzymes might be the catalyst for a sustainable circular economy. In her quest to increase the catalog of insects for human and animal food, Dr. Fathia and her team at International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology, ISIPE, discovered that the mealworm was eating polystyrene, one of the major microplastics that is fast accumulating both on land and in water bodies. We found out there was elevation of some microbial consortia in the gut that were elevated. Mm -hmm. And these ones are the same or similar to what has been found out there to be degrading uh, plastic. Elsewhere, it has been found out that there's no bioaccumulation of uh, this plastic in the body of the insect. So they have a way of digesting it and releasing it. Plastic is durable and resistant to nature's forces. It can take anywhere from 20 to 500 years to decompose, and even then, it never fully disappears. It just gets smaller and smaller. And even though there are regulations on plastic usage in the country, it is a cheaper way of packaging, and it finds its way to households with no proper way of disposing. According to Dr. Fathia, the research is ongoing to come up with a viable way of using insects without releasing them into the environment. We'll need a lot of mealworms to do the digestion. I can give you from our experimental setup where we gave it uh, 3.6 grams of the styrofoam and actually we had to put around 100 to 150 of the insects to feed on this. This is not economically feasible because how many will you take of the mealworms for, for them to digest for you? So what is the best way forward is to harness or to come up with this uh, consortia of bacteria that can do the work or come up with the enzyme that can do the degradation. In addition to their plastic degrading powers, mealworms are nutritious source of human and animal food. It doesn't end there. The byproduct of mealworm farming known as fras is an organic fertilizer. Unlike synthetic fertilizers, mealworm fras is natural, sustainable and improves soil health, making it an ideal choice for eco-conscious farmers looking to grow food without harming the environment. It can produce uh, protein for food, it can produce uh, protein for feed, it can produce the frost fertilizer, it can also digest waste, so organic waste. So now here we came also with something extra, which is the plastic waste. If it can digest this, this insect has potential of being uh, utilized for all its benefit and also now an additional component of producing the enzymes or the bacteria consortia that can do the degradation. The groundbreaking discovery may hold the key to tackling one of the planet's biggest environmental crises, that is plastic pollution. The tiny creature may revolutionize recycling in Kenya and Africa at large. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV in Nairobi.